的凶兽太强大，这么快支撑不住了。Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take an interest look from another YouTube channel from Digital Foundry and take a look at this game I never knew anything about as well from Taiwan using the Unreal Engine 4 for the PC, Legend of the Sword and Fairy 7. Just hearing the number 7 in the title of the game means that this is a pretty big title with many installments. The main reason I'm guessing is that they were never translated into North America and after seeing Digital Foundry giving a tech review of the game, I had to see if my PC can handle the strain. The Legend of Sword and Fairy 7 was developed and released by Taiwanese company based in Taipei, Softstar. The game offers all the next-gen effects like ray tracing and high level of visual fidelity that we would expect in a next-gen game. Heading over to Steam, I noticed a demo version available and also available for about $30 for the retail game. Not knowing if my PC can handle the game to play at a reasonable performance is always the risk when gaming on PC, but could also reap many rewards because of it as well. My desktop setup is well suited for last gen games and some current games at 1440p max with a 3700X AMD computer, 64 gigs of RAM, and an older RX 580 graphics card. I can hold my own in 4K with most last gen games and older, but new generation is why I opt for a Xbox Series X and PS5. Booting up the demo, I noticed that everything was still in its native language in Chinese Mandarin, including the interface, so I really had no idea what was going on. Luckily, there is an English interface for the main game. Doubly lucky, the demo is very easy to transverse and beat in less than 25 minutes time. As I play the game, I notice how fluid the game character moves and animates. Resolution said at 1440p, there were stutters here and there with frame drops as I played, but not too many that the game was breaking at all. However, the performance that I rate myself on most games that I play now in this generation, I wanted to play the smooth as butter and had to downgrade a to 1080p resolution, but the game's movement and responsiveness was incredibly resound and much more improved. The game itself is beautiful and is easy to follow along for the most part. I was impressed with the in-game gameplay as well as the cutscenes of the action sequences later on in the boss fights. Even if the game looks great, it doesn't really play well. Yes, it does. With the third-person attacks, nothing different than any other action RPGs as the battles are in real time. I felt it was a mixture between action shooters like Mass Effect Andromeda and Dragon Age Inquisition combined to have a fast action appeal, yet strategic as well with special attacks. Of course, with the demo, you get a taste of a town to explore, NPCs walking around and to talk to, and of course action and storied events. What I caught on most of all from other takes on the game is that it also acts like a Chinese drama as it is very dialogue heavy and story driven where if you do not understand Chinese Mandarin you'll be reading heavily throughout the game. Very similar to the Yakuza series by Sega as well. If you can brave the entire story and all its conversation, there is a wonderful, beautiful game underneath with fantastic visuals here and very fun gameplay with the combat system that will definitely entertain. As for me, 1080p looks and plays great on my PC, but I might wait and take advantage of the PS5 or Series X version with ray tracing as my PC is maxed out. 
I just hope this is not a PC exclusive game and maybe it just comes out on consoles. But that's it for this preview look at Sword and Fairy 7. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.